Hey, good afternoon, everyone. I just wanted to take a moment and talk about whether or not you should buy or rent. So needless to say, equipment today, if especially if you're buying new, but even used, used uh, high quality equipment is not cheap. Uh, so really, you need to consider whether or not owning versus renting makes sense for you. Um, basically, I personally have gotten into positions where I had purchased a unit and didn't get to ride it as much as I really wanted to or run it as much as I wanted to just because of my locale and such and it really didn't make sense for me to maintain or keep that so I made changes and so forth um, but certainly um, want to look at uh, if you really should consider renting um, in this case for snowmobiles if you're riding less than over uh, four weekends over the winter season and when I mean riding four weekends it's four complete weekends like two 100 mile days uh, at a minimum um, you're really getting use out of it uh, if it's less than that really just renting it for the four single days that you might ride it or whatever it just makes so much more sense with upkeep storage and and just taking up space and such and just you can get some really nice rental equipment out there for uh, a great value and you save so much money if you divide the monthly payments over the year by the amount of time you can actually ride it, uh, it gives you a big huge allowance that you could actually make sense just to rent someone else's machine and let them maintain it and that expense and same thing for riding uh, you know side by sides and four wheelers uh, if you're riding less than a quarter uh, you know once per quarter uh, really six times a year again you know consider renting um, there's some really good stuff out there you find some shops out there that the rental rates for the day really isn't that bad and it makes a lot of sense um, and most times they even give you the safety gear to go with it um, so really you should consider that if you don't ride that often you love the sport but it just doesn't make sense for you to uh, because of the frequency for you to buy and that's a really a great way to go and really should consider that um, in your area um, and then also you should consider are you riding uh, out, right out your back door if there is um, an area you know if you're able to hop on your machine and just bomb around you know your backwoods right out your back door and you don't have to trailer up to go ride it some place you know just blow off some quick steam and just enjoy the unit uh, a couple times throughout the week or whatever and, and certainly and then obviously load up and go to like a big park or you know big trail system or something like that over on a weekend or something certainly but uh, something to consider you want to be able to ride your unit especially uh, after spending that kind of money um, now do you plan on traveling much because if you're traveling you need to consider the expenses of if you're traveling and then also uh, having to feel like you need to travel uh, in order to ride it and then you have the traveling expense hotel expense and all that so it kind of puts you in a predicament there and if you're staying overnight that's another thing to think about uh, and certainly if you have a UTV that's wider than 50 inches um, you know how many locations can you ride in the area within 100 miles because uh, if one or two of them close down because of whatever reason uh, you don't want to be you know limited on uh, after you have the unit and so forth because of changing laws and whatever um, and then for snowmobiles you know how often is there snow on the ground within 100 miles if there's a winter season um, and of course then all the same questions are above you know are you planning on traveling can you ride out of your back door and all those uh, considerations you need to think about uh, but definitely um, keep that all in mind before you know making your purchase because you don't want to get this awesome machine and just not be able to ride it because that's just miserable <laughs> I don't care who you are mm. but you know if all those issues before and the previous slides weren't an issue then by all means consider buying uh, and you know sky's the limit at that point um, but just uh, make sure you think about the things I mentioned previously and because you know, then you got the expenses of uh, insurance and and such uh, even if you own the machine I highly recommend insurance and I'll talk about in another video or why insurance is so important 
Um, I went from a four-wheeler to a UTV, all paid for by insurance. And uh, I'll explain how that happened at another time. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, if all the previous things uh, don't really apply to you, not a big deal. You can ride out your back door. There's great areas all around you. You don't mind trailing up to go a couple hours down the road. Uh, you know, every other weekend or so forth. Like for me, you know, a four, you know, a four wheeler or ATV makes a lot of sense because we get snow, and in fact, there's you know a foot of snow outside right now, but uh, we're able to uh, you know enjoy the snow a little bit. But you know, how often do we always get this kind of snow? We really don't. It's not really consistent. Um, so a four wheeler is really great because you can ride it year round. Uh, for the most part, and, and out your back door if you want to. But um, anyway, there's something to think about. I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, thanks for your time, buddy. Talk to you later.